Hey, Precision fans. We got our new breeding barn up. Um, it's almost completed. We still got to get the phantom in and finish our lab, but thought we'd give you guys a quick tour. Um, we've got a total of 12 stalls in here made by Eagle Barns. Couldn't be happier. Um, we've got nine 12 by 12s and three folding stalls. <clears throat> we had worm flooring come in, and we're going to go ahead and put our phantom right here. We've got lots of area to work with the stallions, our palpation shoots right over here. <clears throat> We've got Nelson Waters in all of the stalls. And furthermore, our 4,800 square foot breeding barn <clears throat> is fully heated with in-ground heat, so we can keep all these guys warm during the year. Hey everybody, this is our new breeding barn. We've been working on it since probably before June. It's been a labor of love and hate occasionally. It's been a lot of work. Uh, we've done the majority of it ourselves. I just wanted to talk about a couple people that have made this building possible. Uh, some of the vendors that have put it together, they haven't paid us for this. Uh, we've paid full retail for everything and we love these products and we just want to make mention of them because we love them that much. Anybody that knows me knows that when I believe in things, I, I really push them and I believe in a lot of this. This building, 4,800 square feet, uh, put together by Hostetler Sales and Construction out of Missouri. You're not gonna find them on the internet. They're a wonderful family run business. If you ever want their information, you're ever considering putting up a steel building, uh, get a hold of us because we would be more than happy to pass on their information. This is our third building from Hostetler and we couldn't be happier. Uh, this is the first building that we didn't put up ourselves. They, they sent Bradley and the crew out to put it up. Absolutely amazing. Uh, and if you want a good steel building, get a hold of us uh, and we'll send you to Kenny or Canyon or Trennis Hostetler uh, back in Missouri. Wonderful, wonderful people. Uh, we decided to put in <clears throat> basically permanent flooring. We've dealt with the stall mats everywhere else we've been. We have them in some of our other barns. Stall mats, everybody knows, uh, especially in a commercial barn, just cause you nothing but problems. The corners come up, the horses chew on them, they throw them around the stall, they destroy them. You end up buying them time and time again. This time we decided to put trowel on flooring uh, in here. For those of you that don't know what that is, uh, this is worm manufacturing. We eliminate rubber mats. Uh, Jared and Kyle came out from Oklahoma. Jared owns the company. It's a wonderful, wonderful product. It's rubber with some epoxy and chemicals put in it that make it 100% permanent. There's no seams in it. Uh, it's adhered to the concrete and horses can't peel or pick up or chew on it. We've been driving construction equipment on this for the last month and a half here uh, and it's just about indestructible. We discovered it uh, when we bought a trailer that had worm flooring in it and we will never go back. Uh, much, much better than regular rubber mats. A little more expensive to start with but we absolutely love it. Our stalls came from Eagle Barns in Napa, Idaho. Uh, these are FCP stalls. Uh, Connie and Lou all have the most wonderful customer service you will ever run across. Um, this is your typical kick-proof panel uh, with the worm flooring underneath it. We feel like we put together a really, really competent commercial breeding facility. Uh, can't say enough good things about Connie and Lou. We put the stalls in ourselves. They'd be more than happy to have done it. Uh, we needed any tech support or any help in the middle of the night on the weekends. They always picked up the phone and answered our questions. Uh, we absolutely love the FCP stalls from Eagle Barns in Nampa, Idaho. We've heard about Nelson Waters uh, our whole time in the horse industry. Everybody talks about how wonderful they are. They are wonderful. Uh, when we bought this place, they're in the, the other barn, uh, and we decided to stick with the same manufacturer here. Stacy at Nelson, 100% easy to deal with. Pick up the phone, tell her you want to buy some waters, what you need. She'll take care of the rest. Uh, <clears throat> these are sitting on six inch PVC that goes four feet into the ground. That's to help with the frost and freezing problems here in Idaho. Um, water comes up through that tube, the water sits on top of it. Uh, these things are absolutely indestructible. We used to put water bars, we call them water bars, to protect our waterers from the horses sitting on them. These are indestructible. A horse could sit right on this and uh, the stall wall is probably in more danger than the waterer. 
absolutely the best. Uh, we've been real, real happy with Nelson. Underneath this 4,800 square foot of slab and this building is radiant heating. We poured into the concrete uh, PEX piping that's going to run hot water throughout this whole slab. So we have a 150,000 BTU boiler that's going to constantly keep this whole slab to whatever temperature we choose and it'll make it warm all winter. So the horses will have a nice climate controlled, comfortable place to spend breeding season. Last and most importantly, we want to say thank you to the people that helped us physically put this place together. We couldn't have done it without you. Uh, our employees, the girls from the barn, Mo, Allie, Erica, who became uh, a two-day concrete crew. Uh, we poured close to 60 yards of concrete uh, with just their help. Uh, we couldn't have done it without you girls. We really appreciate it. Uh, Dino for showing up and tying rebar in the bottom of uh, four-foot trenches. Uh, we definitely couldn't have done that without you. Uh, Dad, for being side by side here with me and probably doing more work than anybody else. Mom, making sure everybody was well fed and we had plenty of, uh, plenty of drinks and water here. Um, and Christine, for putting this all together in her mind and putting together Precision Training to become the business that it has become so that we have your support to put in a facility like this. Uh, we couldn't be what we are without your patronage and we really appreciate it. Thanks everybody.